So all you have to do is advertise your web design service here on this website. And then when you get orders, all you have to do is come over to this website and create your website in just a few minutes. Literally, it will take you about a half an hour, maximum one hour to create the website. You don't need any web design skills whatsoever. You don't need to know any code or anything like that. And you don't need any graphic design skills whatsoever. So you create the website in here, it'll take you about a half an hour to an hour. Then you deliver the website. And every time you do this, you get paid between $300 to $1,000 every single time you do this. And you can do this multiple times per day. Hey there, what's up guys? It is Fergal here and inside this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make 300 to $1,000 per day by creating websites for people and advertising them on certain websites that you get multiple orders uh, multiple times per day. And every time you get an order, you can make between 300 and $1,000. You don't need any web design skills. You don't need any uh, coding skills. You don't need any graphic design skills. I'm gonna show you how to do everything from A to Z inside this video. It's very, very simple. So let's jump in. Before we get started, my name is Fergal Downs and on this channel, I create videos that show people how to make money online, create an online business, get traffic to your website and absolutely everything else in between. So if you could take a moment to go below this video and hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon, it would really, really help me out. So if you can go and do that now, that would really, really help me out and you would have my eternal gratitude if you can do that for me. So let's talk about setting up a web design business and how you do it from A to Z. So simple web design business, how to make websites for people and businesses in just a few clicks and how to make 300 to $1,000 every single time that you do it. And you can do this multiple times per day. So first of all, let's talk about designing the websites. Um, later on, I'm gonna show you how to advertise your web design service. But first of all, I'm gonna show you how to design the websites. You're gonna need website hosting, whether you get the customer to get the website hosting or you get the website hosting, someone is gonna need website hosting. I recommend that you get it because then you can charge more for hosting the customer's websites. So you can tell the customer that they need to have website hosting and they need to go and buy the domain. This means that you won't have to spend a single penny to get started on this. Uh, you can just tell them, go and get hosting and then I'll set the website up for you. Or what you can do, is you can get the website hosting yourself. I recommend the website siteground.com for hosting. And then you can charge them more to host their websites for them. Um, and you can also buy the domain for them and charge them a premium for the domain as well. So now I'm gonna show you how to get it all set up. I'm gonna show you how, how to get set up with the SiteGround hosting, buying a domain in SiteGround, uh, the WordPress setup, and selecting your template, because all of this is done through a template, literally just drag and drop. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to edit that template within a half an hour or an hour, uh, and you'll be able to get the website over to them all completed, and then you collect your 300 to $1,000 when it's all done. So let's go over to my desktop now, and I'll show you how to get set up with SiteGround. So you're coming to the website, uh, siteground.com, and we're just gonna click on see plans here. Uh, and the plan that you're gonna get is $6.99 a month. This gets you website hosting for unlimited websites. So you can literally have 100, 200 customer websites on this, charging them a premium for the hosting, and it's only gonna cost you $6.99 per month. So what you would do is you go ahead and sign up. You have to pay for the full year in advance. So it's $6.99 a month, whatever that is, multiplied by 12. Um, and uh, that's that's what you need to do for the get, to get the hosting. Once you have gone and got that all set up, then you're going to land on a page that looks like this. This is one of my SiteGround accounts and these are my uh, websites that I have in here. I'm gonna show you uh, a website that I did recently for someone. Uh, you can see it here. Um, it's a very, very simple website. It took me about 30 minutes from start to finish to set up. And this is a $300 project right here. It took me maximum 30 minutes to get set up. Very, very professional looking website, all done through a uh, template. So once you're in here, you're going to need to buy a domain. So what you would do is come in here to new website and you would click on new domain and you would type in the domain that the customer wants you to get. So let's say it's Bob's uh, plumbing, uh, bobsplumbing.com. Hope I spelled that correctly now. So bobsplumbing.com and we're gonna go over and it's gonna go, uh, it's not available, of course it's not available. Let's bobsplumbingireland.com. Uh, okay, so bobsplumbingireland is available. 
So what you would do is you would click on add and you would go through the process of adding this to your account. Um, it's $15 per year. Obviously what you wanna do is charge the customer at least $20 per year for this. Um, and also uh, charge a premium for the hosting as well, which doesn't cost you any money. You're still gonna be paying the $6.99 per month, but uh, you can charge them a premium. You can charge them per year, you know, 50, $100 extra per year to host their website. But anyway, let's talk about the domain for now. Click on add, go through the process of adding it to your account. Once it's added to your account, you go back into your websites section here and you're gonna see the domain here. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a website on this deskoffergaldowns.com. So, so now what you need to do is you're gonna come back over to the My Account section here. And I'm gonna show you this setup from start to finish. We're gonna go ahead and add WordPress to our website. So we click in here to websites. We're gonna to go to site tools on our website domain that we've just purchased. And we're gonna to go to install and manage WordPress. Click on WordPress and we're gonna go ahead and set all this up here. So let's go to username and we're gonna to go to, just gonna type in uh, test, uh, at gmail.com. I'm going to put in a password here. Um, this is my pass. There we go. Um, sorry, this is the username. I've got to put the this as an email and a username. I'm just going to put as my name. And then we're gonna click on install. Uh, it's gonna ask for a more. Um... A stronger password. So then I'm going to click on install and it's going to go through the process, which is going to take a few moments of installing WordPress on the site. You don't need to know any coding. It's uh, all done for you and it's going to take a few moments just to load up. Okay, and it's loaded up there now. So what we're gonna do is click on the admin panel. And we're gonna click on start now. And here is where we're gonna get these professional looking templates absolutely for free. So we can go through here and see what kind of templates are available. We can copy uh, this over to our customer and, tell, and show them all the templates that are available and say, uh, do you want this template, blah, 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 and they can pick from this list of templates. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead with the template that I previously did, the one that I showed you already. So this template here, I'm just gonna show you the template in full. And you scroll down the list and you can see what it looks like there. And I'm gonna select this template, click on continue, click on complete, and now it's gonna go ahead and install this template on my domain. So that took about 60 seconds and what we're gonna do now is go to my dashboard and we're gonna log into the site. Okay, so here we are inside the website and if we just go to the pages, click on all pages and we're just gonna go ahead and view the front page here. So here is the website template all done. Now all we need to do is take the information and the pictures from our customer and put them on the on the page here. Um, and if they don't want some of this stuff, if they don't want their pictures, we can delete that. So I'm just gonna briefly um, go in and change some of the details on this page here. So click into the home page here. So we're gonna pretend that this is for, a, uh, let's say it's for a building website. So, um, I build big, huge buildings. Okay, obviously the, the title of the web page is not gonna be like that, but uh, just for the sake of this video, let's do that. So then we're gonna say our goal is to build the biggest building 
in the world. And you can put here, if they wanted to change this, uh, let me just scroll down a little bit. Oh, scroll down with this. Scroll over here. If they wanted to change this to contact us, you would type that in there. And if they wanted to change where this links to, you would just highlight it, click on this link here, and you would type the URL. If they wanted to link to a contact page, instead of whatever page it's linking to, you can change the place where it links to there. If we scroll down here, we can change this picture by clicking on the picture, clicking on replace, and go into uh, upload if we wanted to put in, say, uh, let's say we wanted to put in my shamrock picture here. We can put that in there, and you can change this here as well to uh, contact us at the link below. And then, so let's just go and have a look at some of these changes that we've done. I'm going to go and click on update. And then I'm going to open up the home page of the website. I'll just go open up a new tab and open up the website. So I build huge buildings. Our goal is to build the biggest building in the world. Contact us. And you can see that my... Um, Shamrock is in here and that's how you edit uh, these pages if you take a little bit more time you can uh, go through everything here very very simple drag and drop replace all of that kind of stuff and the websites are extremely professional looking so that's how you create websites on WordPress extremely professional websites now what we need to do is we're going to go back over to the PowerPoint presentation now we need to advertise the web design business. Now, what normal web design businesses do is they try to rank their own web design website in Google. So let's say it's uh, Dublin, Ireland web design. Loads of web design companies would be competing for that keyword and trying to get customers that way. I'm gonna show you a way that you can advertise absolutely for free without having to rank your websites in Google because it's very, very hard to do that. I'm gonna show you a number of different websites where you can advertise your web design business so that you can get at least one sale per day. That's a 300 to $1,000 sale every single day. And then you take half an hour or an hour to complete the process and you're able to uh, make a small fortune from your own web design business without, without even knowing any web design yourself. The first website, of course, you know me. Uh, if you've seen any, any of my videos before, I love Fiverr. There's so much traffic going to Fiverr at the moment. Um, it's just so easy to make sales on Fiverr. So let's go over to the Fiverr homepage here, and we're going to see what competing uh, web designers we're competing with. So web design. I spelled design wrong, of course. So we're just going to type in web design. So uh, I will this first this first person here. So you can see just how much traffic is on Fiverr for people looking for websites web design web design. This person has five star reviews and has over one thousand reviews. Now, one in eight people who uh, buy your Fiverr gig will leave a review. So you can estimate that this person here has had about eight thousand purchases of his web design gig here. That is more than anyone can handle. So if you were doing that, you'd need to outsource. If you're doing that amount of sales, you need to outsource um, the uh, creation of the web design and you would just act as a middleman then. That's for another video. I'll do another video on outsourcing in the future. Let's take a look at his gig here. So he's at 1,073 reviews. He's got 21 orders in the queue. So uh, if you, his minimum, um, price is $194. His next uh, price up is outstanding website of up to five informational pages is 394, this is euros, so 394 euros and 92 cents for a simple website with just five pages. As you can see, the amount of money that can be made by doing web design just on Fiverr alone is absolutely huge. His premium website is 594 euros and it's a 10 page website. So that's just one guy here. Let's take a look at some other people here. And he doesn't talk about hosting, but if you were to get the domain for people and host it as well, you could add on another $100 per year, 100 euros per year um, onto this price as well. Let's take a look at some other people here. Um, so I produce, will produce you any website. Okay, let's take a look at this person. Um, we're going to show a basic basic quality website with three only three pages for 
um, euros. Next one up is five, pretty much 500 euros. It's for a six page website, which is a very, very small website. And remember, all you're doing is getting the information and the pictures from them and uploading it. That's, that's all you're doing. And for an eight page website, 824 euros. Amazing, so cheap. Now, one thing I want to uh, tell you about is when they send you the pictures, you need to make sure that they haven't just dragged the pictures from Google, Google search. If they have done that, what you can tell them is, these images are not royalty free, I will get images for you. And to get images for them, you go to pixabay.com. So let's say they send you a picture of two people shaking hands in a meeting. You can just go to pixabay.com and type in meeting. And you can download this image and use it for free on your website, royalty free. So you don't want to just drag images from Google that can get you in trouble. So just uh, make sure that if they send you images or pictures that they're royalty free. Anyway, let's go back to Fiverr. I'm gonna look at one more person. Um, so this person here is charging $99, but that's 99 euros. But that's only for a one page website. Let's, their premium or their standard is five pages and their premium is uh, 10 pages. So um, you can see the prices there on the screen. So what you would do is you would come in here to the main guy, who was the, the top guy was this guy here. Um, and you would create a gig and you would mirror, don't copy, but mirror his layout here of how he's advertising his gig and you would undercut his prices here. So if, you, if you're doing a, a five page, you start off saying a one page website for something like, let's say 99 euros, um, a five pa three page website for a certain, a certain amount more, and a, a 10 page website for a certain amount more. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the, uh, the sellers here and undercut them slightly at the start until you get 10 to 20 reviews. After that, you can pretty much charge whatever you like because people, if you're getting five star reviews, people will absolutely snap up your gig there. Now that's just Fiverr. You can at least get one sale every single day on Fiverr alone. But look at all these other websites here. You've got Upwork, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, Done Deal, which is a website in Ireland, a classifieds ads website in Ireland. But I'm sure they have them in every country in the world. Uh, local newspapers, you can advertise for like 20 euros in, in local newspapers. You can search the internet for more. So you can start your web design business on Fiverr alone with you creating the websites for you. Then you can advertise on all these other websites. If you start getting more than one, two, three, four websites per day, then you can outsource all of this. And again, outsourcing is another video that I'll show at a later point. Um, and you can just act as a middleman in all of this uh, and make a real, real ton of money without knowing any web design skills whatsoever. Now, in Fiverr, it's gonna ask you for your portfolio. If we go in here to the top seller, uh, we got this guy here. Um, he shows some of his websites here. So you can see this one. Look, that website is not as professional as the one that I showed you earlier. Uh, this one here, very basic. I'm sure that's a, a WordPress template as well. This one here, very basic, uh, WordPress template. So this portfolio, what you would do is, remember the, the, the part where I showed you um, all of the different um, templates that you can get. Let me see if I can get it again there. So let me go back to home and I'm gonna go to appearance and themes in here and I'm gonna click on add new theme. So here you can see all of the recommended themes and what you would do to, for your portfolio is you would click on this, bring it up, you would uh, copy, you do a screenshot of this and add that to your portfolio. You don't actually have to have done these websites before. You just copy what's here and add that to your portfolio. Let's get another one for the portfolio. Let's go with um, this one here. Just copy this one, add it to your portfolio, and that's your portfolio. The templates are your portfolio. So like I said, let's talk about the, talking about pricing. As you, you would just see what's out there and you would undercut those prices slightly until you get 10 to 20 reviews. Charge more if you want to, um, if, you want to if they want you to host the site and get the domain as well. You would charge uh, a lot more. But you wanna have the option for both, where they can uh, buy their own hosting or where you do the hosting for them uh, and charge them more. Dealing with customers in, uh, in person. This one, my own experience with this one isn't so great. Uh, when I first started making websites for people, I was in college, wasn't making a lot of money. A friend of mine, I hope he's not watching this, but a friend of mine said, oh, my parents want a website for their construction site. Um, 
They contacted me uh, 16 months later. They still hadn't paid me a penny. They were still sending me pictures and uh, content all of the time and they still hadn't paid me. Eventually I said, look, I don't want the money. I need to, I need to concentrate on other things, but I can't do this project with you. So make sure that that doesn't happen to you. The way that you do that is to get all of the photos and all of the content off them on day one, on, on whatever day that they, that you want to, they want you to start the, um, the website. Get it all off them and tell them after that if they want to add more pictures or make changes or whatever. It's going to cost them $20 per hour to do that. It's You just have to do it that way because people want too much from you when you're dealing with them in person. Now, if you're on Fiverr, it's the same way, but they already, you already, you they've already paid uh, before you even start the website. So with dealing with in-person customers, like let's say if you do it on Facebook Marketplace or if it's a friend of the family or something like that, try to get half of the money up front and then half of the money when it's done. So guys, that is it for how to create a web design business without knowing any web design skills, any graphics, uh, graphic design skills, any coding or anything like that. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below this video and go ahead and watch this video here now over here on this side because that is going to be able to teach you a lot more about how to make money online, building an online business and getting traffic to your website. Thank you so much guys. I'll talk to you again soon.